Hi everybody, it's Maya and today we are going to be going over the January 2022 Always Dropping Something Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is what the bag looks like. It's like a neon tie-dye pastel kind of vibe with a cute smiley face on it. If you are new to Ipsy or new to this channel, basically for the past year I've been reviewing the Ipsy bags on my channel. And I've been absolutely loving them. What the difference between the, the regular Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus is that the Plus has five full-size products, whereas the regular Glam Bag has five products that may or may not be full-size or not. Usually they are more sample-sized products and it's kind of like a tester, whereas in the Plus you're actually getting full products and it's $30 a month and it's definitely worth it for your money. Also, I have to mention this drink from Duncan is fire. It is the iced brown sugar oat milk latte. It basically is the Starbucks brown sugar shaken espresso drink, but 10 times better in my opinion. It's not as bitter. It's a little bit more sweet. Duncan is always more sweet, but this drink is fire. So yeah, I'm just gonna start with my makeup. So, I guess just to start things off, I don't want to waste any time. Usually what I'll do is I'll show you guys what's in my bag and then I'll use it. But I think I'm just going to walk you through my makeup routine while showing you guys the products from the Ipsy bag and using them. So I just primed my eyelids and now I'm just going to prep my skin with some moisturizer. I got this moisturizer in my last Ipsy bag. And I've been loving it. It's been a month now and it's still really, really full. I love that moisturizer so much. It just makes your skin literally glass. But for the complexion products today, I am skipping foundation and I'm going in with concealers. These are the Undone Beauty concealers. I have two shades. I have Porcelain Light and then I have Buttercream Medium. Actually, I switched those around. This is Porcelain. And this is buttercream medium. I have two shades because one shade works for me in the winter and one shade works for me in the summer. But I'm going to use both of them today. They're pretty much very similar except the undertones in them, honestly. I'm going to take buttercream medium on a foundation brush and just sort of put that all over the face as my base for the day, like as my foundation. What I love about the Undone Beauty concealer palettes is that, you know, it has three different types of coverage. You have sheer, medium, and full, and you can pick which coverage you want for the day, or you can just kind of stick your brush in the middle like I did. It's very versatile. You can use it as concealer. You can use it as your foundation. You know, you can really do a lot of things with it. If you get a deeper shade, you can use that as like a bronzer. I'm going to take the porcelain shade and use that just to brighten. I'm taking this Real Techniques brush just to get the product where I want it. And I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. Yeah, I'm liking the skin. I just wanted to keep it really simple with concealer and not foundation. But it works. And then I'm not going to do bronzer today. I'm just going to go right into blush. And this is from the, my Ipsy bag. This is the first Ipsy product. It's the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush, and this is what that is, and it's in the shade Bread and Butter. Kind of just work as an all-over makeup product. Danessa Myricks has a bunch of different shades, and this one is like a nice pinky kind of shade. Let me swatch that. What I like about Ipsy is I've gotten two Danessa Myricks products from Ipsy now. And that's what that looks like. The formula is kind of like oily in a way. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, like it goes on super wet and then it dries down really dry and you can just really build up the shade or do whatever you want with them. And today I'm going to use this as blush, lipstick, and as like just a color in the eyes. I'm going to take, I think, two dots of that and I'm going to take the Rare Beauty Blush Brush and start blending that out on the cheeks. Just 
and it's a really pretty blush shade. It's super natural and right in my kind of blush range. I like this shade for my cheeks. Baby's behind me and she's eating something, but I don't know what it is. I'll check in a second. I'm gonna blend. I always get worried with cream products. I always feel like it's gonna, you know, dry down and I can't blend it anymore. But that seemed pretty easy. Blush is really pretty. It looks super natural on the cheeks. And yeah, I'm really liking that shade. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit to the eyes, just to see where that goes. Just blending it out with a crease brush. And they're super blendable as eyeshadows as well. I think with products like these, like she has a bunch of different colors and you could, you know, make some really cute monochromatic looks with them. And if, you know, if you have all of these in your collection, that's like really simple makeup. You have like an eyeshadow, a lipstick, and a blush all in one product. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to the lips as well. I'm just going to use my finger. That's stunning. It reminds me a lot of the Rare Beauty liquid eyeshadow in the shade Nearly Rose. It's giving off the same color but I like that a lot. So moving on, we're gonna powder the face now and I'm just using my Rare Beauty powder. This is an Ipsy related, just a powder that I've been enjoying. My last video is actually using the Rare Beauty line, all the new makeup. So if you're interested in a review on all the makeup that Rare Beauty just launched, then go check that video out. I like this powder a lot because it is super soft, but it also mattifies just enough not nothing like crazy or anything but it also makes you still look very dewy and like it's called the soft radiance powder so it doesn't really get rid of all of your shine but it gets rid of just enough moving on to highlight this is from my ipsy bag they're really stepping up this month or i guess for the year maybe but this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Hustle Baby. And it's that shade. I was scared this was going to be a little bit too deep on me. But it actually shares out really nicely. This initial swatch. You know, this highlight actually isn't as, like, scary as I thought. But, yeah, there's no deep undertone unless you apply, like, a whole ton of it. But if you can see that. It's just a really nice, natural-looking highlight. So I'm going to take that on this angled brush, kind of. This is actually like a blush brush, but it was the first one that I grabbed, so it's going to be highlighting today. Really pretty highlighting shade. I used to be obsessed with gold highlights until I realized that they were too dark on me, but this one doesn't seem to be dark at all. No, not really. There's a little bit of a dark cast, like slightly, but it's not as bad as it used to be when I used to always wear gold highlight. I'm going to build it up just a little bit because it is a little subtle. I think it's a really pretty natural looking highlight. Okay, now that the base is done, we're going to do eyes now. This is also from my Ipsy palette or Ipsy bag. This is the Formula Z So Pretty palette. I love the packaging. It's very holographic and cute, and the palette itself, it's so simple, but this is so stunning. Like, look at those shades. You got two nice matte shades, you have two shimmers, and you have two glitters. Definitely can see myself using this all the time. So I'm going to start with the shade Regal, which is this sort of lighter matte shade. And I'm just going to put that on the crease. And then I'm going to go in with Opulent, which is this shimmery shade. Kind of the same color as the matte, but just shimmery. I'm going to take that on my finger and just apply that all over the lid. It's really pretty as well. And 
nice shimmer shade there too and you know you could just leave it like this if you're doing like an everyday look but i'm gonna go with a little extra and go into empire which is this shimmery shade right here wow and just put that on the lids wow that's intense I'm just kind of stamping it in with my finger. Not really any fallout with that either. It didn't seem to get on my face at all. But that shade is really pretty too. It's just very sparkly and it reflects all the lights back at me. So I like that a lot. And then last with this palette, I'm going to go in with Legend. With the deep shade right here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and just softly stamp that in the outer crease outer corner just for the tiniest bit of depth it's really simple and you have a whole glam look with not too much work involved but next i'm going to go in with the eyeliner from ipsy this is the fourth product now this is by black magic and it's the coco edit liquid liner in the shade warm brown swatch that right here it's definitely the lightest brown eyeliner that i own most of them are a little bit deeper and it doesn't seem to budge that much so can't wait to get this on the eyes really easy to use and that was really easy and it's a really pretty color wow new favorite eyeliner i'm like impressed with the makeup so far like whenever i do these ipsy videos i never expect them to go as well as they do and then i end up finding like new favorite products for like the rest of the year now i'm just gonna do my brows and i'm just gonna be using my nyx lift and snatch and the nyx brow glue just to quickly fill them in and for mascara i'm going in with the merit beauty mascara and I have a whole video on Merit on my channel as well. It's like two videos ago. I recommend you watch that. I did sort of like a minimalistic makeup routine. And I've been really loving their products as well. It's become staples in my collection. Like this mascara is really good. And so are all the other products. And this mascara wears really well throughout the day. Like it doesn't smudge and it's super easy to take off at the end of the night as well. I will have this mascara linked down below in the description if you're interested because it's fire as you can see like i just got long wispy lashes and yeah i really love this mascara it's become one of my new favorites and what i like about it is that you can get those really nice big voluminous lashes but you have the option to keep it more natural by just doing one coat opposed to like two some mascaras, you know, you don't have that option of making it look natural. It's just always going to look super dramatic. But, you know, some people aren't going for dramatic eyes every single day. And that's why this mascara is kind of like a new obsession of mine. Because I can pick and choose the kind of lashes that I want. I also have a lip product from Ipsy by Lauren Conrad. And this is the lipstick in the shade shell so it kind of matches all the other colors we've been using today so i can't wait to use this it says it's a matte lip color that doesn't feather and it's comfortable so cute this is the packaging it's like a pale pink beige kind of color and this is the shade super cute so what's that down here Looks like a good shade for me. Ooh. Definitely is a matte lipstick, but it feels really good on the lips. It's a beautiful color. I don't know what kind of color that is. It's like an orangey kind of pink 
I don't know. I don't know what kind of color that is, but it's really pretty. It goes really well with the rest of the makeup that I used. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Topaz. And I got this from my friend from work. Yeah, she gave me this for Christmas and I love this shade. And yeah, can't wait to get this on the lips too. Yeah, they basically are kind of very similar in shade, the lip gloss and the lipstick. But, yeah, this is the finished look. Get you guys in on this. So we have some nice glowy skin with some sparkly eyes and some cute lips as well. And, yeah, I'm loving all this makeup. I definitely see myself using the Janessa Myers Vision Flush all the time. As well as the Fenty Beauty highlight. You know, this palette is stunning. The lipstick was beautiful. Oh, yeah, the eyeliner. I needed a new eyeliner, anyways. I'm glad they sent me one. Perfect timing. Yeah, what do you guys think about this look? What do you think about Ipsy? You know, I've been wanting to cancel my Ipsy subscription, like, just because it's, it keeps going up in price and it's $30 now opposed to the 25 that it was last year which you know it's fine their quality is going up a lot i noticed they're getting a bunch of celebrities to pair with them now like halsey you got huda beauty like a bunch of celebrities are collabing with ipsy majority of the makeup today lauren conrad danessa myrix fenty and three big names formula z i'm not sure who they are or black magic but their products are really good so now we all know about them but yeah I really do like Ipsy and I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon because I created a cute look like this using their products. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well and comment down below what are your thoughts. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.